This is an amazing product and we're excited to bring it on board. Now, I could sit here and tell you a lot of things about it, but I got somebody that would do a whole lot better. Ted, thank you for joining me today, brother. <laughs> Thanks, man. Good to see you. What hey, makes this product so amazing? So, so this is Ava Cinema Remote. I'm one of the founders of Ava, along with some colleagues in Switzerland, who are masters at design of mobile devices. They're some of the best in the world. And they created Ava Cinema Remote to solve a bunch of problems. Uh, we're used to remotes that feel like plastic. They have all kinds of buttons all over them. Uh, and they, they just really don't necessarily like go in the high-end homes the way that you want them to. This was designed to look beautiful in a home and work beautifully for the customer. So what you see is it's a all aluminum frame here, high density, uh, high resolution uh, touch screen on top. And this bottom part right here, we call this the dynamic keypad. It is super cool. It's got raised glass here, three dimensional glass. So your thumb knows exactly where it's landing on there. You don't have to look down while watching TV on it. It doesn't, it's not active right now. It's in its standby mode right here. But if I hit something like watch direct TV here, it does all the startup of all the components, all the switching that's necessary, nothing that the homeowner has to do, and lights up that keypad right there. And as it lights up that keypad right there, you're going to see all the right buttons on the keypad for watching TV. So you got channel changing, you've got volume up and down, you've got the back and you uh, control, the menu control, and the D-pad right here for playing or not. I've got my favorite channels up here, and I can go to any one of those channels right now, or I can use the channel controls here. But if I switch over to like a TV app right here, uh, that's provided like Hulu, you notice it's no longer doing the controls right here uh, that are channel controls. It is actually doing forward back controls like you might want when you're watching a streaming service. And if I switch back to channels, it goes right back to channels again. That's how it's dynamic. And that's how it doesn't have this huge cluster of buttons that most remotes have. That's how you get a premium glass and metal like remote like this in your hand. No. Yes, it's an amazing universal remote, but I know that there's a lot more to this bad boy. From what I understand, basically, cameras, uh, what else can I put into this? Outside of okay, paper boxes so and audio video. Super important to understand, a full automation system sits on here, and this eliminates the need for like applications for every device that you have and things like that. It's okay. designed to be super simple to use when you're on the sofa. But every once in a while you want something a little bit more than that that maybe we don't do inside of Ava OS, like uh, cameras. So like you have a ring system in your home. Somebody rings the front door. You're going to get that normally on your phone and you're gonna be able to answer that on your phone but maybe your phone's away from you because you're watching TV. You'll see that notification on here if the Ring app is installed, and you'll have that as well. So you get this mix up here of these two different capabilities here. Primary thing everybody's gonna use this for, it's gonna be for watching TV, for skimming through channels and so on like that. The things that you do from the sofa. But every once in a while when you need that kind of thing like the pizza arrived, yeah. you've got it on this remote because it's a fully Google certified device with apps from the Play Store. Oh man, this is an amazing piece of equipment. What makes, obviously I think I know the answer, but what makes this piece of equipment so different from every other universal remote out there? You, find, find every other remote out there. Take a look at them. This has the simple elegance that goes with designers' uh, desires for a home. Even if you don't have a designer in your home, but you care about how your home looks, you like having nice things. This can sit on a counter. It's not so obtrusive that it calls attention to itself, yeah. but it doesn't look like this piece of plastic with a bunch of rubber buttons and everything on it. So just from the design of the device, it has this really nice uh, appeal to it that way. And then when you use it, yeah. the fact that it just works perfectly, that it just, uh, in your it hand, very responsive. It very super fast. responsive, like it. like it controls your do your devices that you're trying to watch. You know, most people want to just watch Netflix on their TV. If I just go ahead and say, watch Netflix, it's going to do all the switching over and bring Netflix up for me, and bam, I'm watching Netflix, whether it's through a, whether it's through a Roku, whether it's a smart TV app or what, it, it can go ahead and do that kind of control for you. So it's just seamless, like it just works intuitively. Oh man, well there you go. Powerful, sleek, an amazing piece of equipment. I could have said a lot of great things about it, but I think Ted did a better job. Ted, awesome. thank you man, I thank appreciate you. it. All right. You got it. Now you have two months. <laughs>